All right, my friends, I want to do a really quick tutorial um, for how to basically edit those active text links on the WordPress side of Show It. So for example, obviously that means your WordPress blog posts and such. So for an example, this is my Revere template and you'll notice right now I have it, any text link is gonna look like this. So it's a black color that it's underlined, which you can see in your actual Show It side under the text style. I have it to set to that color one and underline on hover it'll go to three. What I want to do instead to make it look a little better is something I did for a client here, which is doing a more of just like a simple underline, um, a thicker underline, and even adding a little bit more weight and italicized version to it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the, you know, make sure it says no underline. And hover color, I think I'm just going to keep it as is. I'm going to hit publish. You'll notice that um, typically on Show It, anytime you use like the WordPress side, so even like the regular blog, there's going to be that big underline on some of the text. So you'll see on my right hand side and left hand side here, it'll underline like travel. Um, this is kind of basic thing. So the first set of code that I add to all my templates is removing that text decoration. So do that first. So under the page and show it, make sure you choose the actual page itself. Under advanced settings on the right hand side, go to custom CSS here. And there's already some of my templates, but I'm just gonna add that there and hit save and then publish. So what that's gonna do is basically say, don't just sit there and underline everything. Um, you can definitely leave it, it's just personal preference. I know for sure on the actual blog feed, I would remove it because it looks a little, I don't know, annoying sometimes on those big headings. So you'll see now it's just kind of a hover state here. So the next thing I wanna do is change this one. And so I'm gonna use this code I have here. And right now, just to kind of break it down to, for you, it has no text decoration because I don't want it to like underline or anything like that. Um, I have a border bottom set. So what you would want to do is actually change out this color to match your template. So for example, I'm going to do this um, light purple color, which is on my site or on the template. So I'm going to grab this hex code here, hit OK, and then paste that in there like so, so you can see it there. And then I think I'll just show you what it looks like. I tell size, I don't know if I'll keep that or not, but I'm gonna copy that and do the same thing as before. Go to single post, choose the page, go to advanced settings, custom CSS, and paste it in there. Hit save and publish again. So once that's published, let us do its, do its thing. All right. So now you'll see that it looks more like a text link um, that is active. So it did italicize it, which actually I'm gonna leave it there. Um, if you do look at it, and this is like, a, if you ever use in the inspect icon or inspect settings on Chrome, you can kind of see the text decoration, and everything here. Um, you can change, you know, drop the amount of font weight like so, you can obviously change the size of the underline. Whoops, so there's seven, which is a lot. Three I felt was a good one for you there. If you don't want it to be italic, you would just remove that, so leave it as is, like so. You can also change the font family if you really wanted to. So let's just say you wanted to do um, well, that'd be crazy to do that one, but you'll kind of get an idea of what it would look like if you were to change the font. Sometimes you won't do like a, can I do time? Yeah, I'm just gonna show you times for now. So I can change the font, which might help too. So that's kind of how you do it. So just simply edit the code, just tweak it a little bit, add it into your show it custom CSS settings and hit save, hit publish and refresh your page and you're good to go.